welcome again to Wogscapes. We are going to be flocking and finishing our little bottle brush pine trees. So here's one of them here that I did uh, over the weekend. I have put a coat of black spray paint on that just so that the bristles aren't uh, too light colored. And we're going to hit this with some PVA glue and some flocking. So my voice is still sore from the uh, the weekend at the uh, the convention, uh, talking to people for three days, solid over the over the crowd. Okay, so here we go. I'm doing this over the sink because it's going to make a mess. Uh, PVA glue. I'm using this stuff here, right? Uh, probably about 60 water, 40 glue. Uh, I don't need a nice even spread on here. I just need to get it on there. Right. Now, I've seen people take this and they stick it in the jar of flocking and they shake it all around. Uh, I prefer to kind of lay this down flat like that. Too much glue. There we go. And I kind of, can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see that. I'm just kind of tapping it. It'll tap, it'll rotate. So I'm not filling it in. I'm just getting the flocking around the edges. That's, I think that's good enough there. I'm just gonna knock off the excess here a little bit. And there we go, right? Just rotate that a bit so you can see it. There we go. So I just need to let that glue dry. So I usually hook the ends here and I got a little rack above the sink where I can hang these things while they're drying. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done another couple of coats of the uh, PVA glue water mitts on here. About another uh, three sprays on there. The first uh, spray knocked off a little bit of the flocking, of course, because it hasn't quite set on there. Um, but then what was left on there sucked up the glue quite well and hardened on there. And then I did again and again, and they're actually quite hard now. But I'm still only using one color, so I want to tint this a little bit and just lighten up some of the, the higher points on here. Uh, normally I use Green Blend Fine Turf for this. I'm going to try this out with Burnt Grass. Same thing, it's uh, the, fi the uh, Fine Turf stuff, right? So I'm going to try that out and see how that works here. So, same deal. Over the sink. There we go, and I don't want to be getting it underneath and on the sides like that. I want to be getting it mostly on the top, right? Oh, it's so pretty. There we go, a little more. At this point in time as well, you can be uh, fiddling around with some of the branches and pulling them a little bit. Um, this one's kind of smooshed, and I'm totally okay with that. All right, I think that's enough there. Um, because I'm gonna put some of these trees together, and so yeah, it's got a flat side on it, right? But I'm gonna put another tree here, so that'll kind of fill in this, and they can be a little tighter together, right? So we'll get into that later, all right? And just repeating for the next couple. So there is a bit of a knack to making these things, right? So if you want to make uh, a tile piece with three trees, don't make three trees. Make four or five and have a couple that can be garbage, right? Um, and as you get better, they're going to be nicer and put against something white, right? A uh, better profile on it. But even the ones that are like little smushed, it looks great from there. Uh, this angle, right, it's got like chunks out of there. That is fine, again, as you look at trees, uh, when they're really close together like that, 
they actually have like a bear spot, right? Uh, if you have two trees standing right beside each other and you cut one down, the other one is going to look like it's been shaved off, right? Because as the wind's blowing, they're knocking each other's branches off. So if you have ones that are flat like that, just put them together. Uh, however you're composing this little layout, it'll look great, right? So the next step, of course, is the trunk. What I do is I just take a branch, just a stick that I've found. Uh, you can also use a dowel if you want and just make sure that you whittle the edge a little bit, right? You just shape that down to give it a bit of a irregular shape uh, and then you can paint it. And then what I do is take the drill gun and don't stab yourself, right? And just drill a little bit of a hole in there then you can take your tree, trim the bottom off, slide it in there. If it's a little bit cockeyed like that, right, you can take it, you can bend it straight, that's okay. And that's about it. Now it's ready to incorporate into a finished terrain piece like that, right? Foam base, whatever. Just make sure that when you're doing the, uh, the base around here as well, that uh, coniferous trees the needles are a bit acidic, so they kind of scorch the ground. So you shouldn't have beautiful lush bushes and things underneath here. This should be kind of dead where the needles are, have fallen, right? So consider that you're going to have more dirt and dead grass underneath here. And around the edges, you can have taller grass. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Cheers.